the famous Kylie Kristen Jenner was born August 10, 1997. She is an American media personality, socialite, model, and businesswoman. She starred in the e-reality television series Keeping Up With The Kardashians from 2007 to 2021 and is the founder and owner of cosmetic company Kylie Cosmetics. She is currently the most followed woman and the second most followed person on Instagram. At age 14 in 2012, she collaborated with the clothing brand PacSun, along with her sister Kendall, and created a line of clothing, Kendall and Kylie. In 2015, Kylie Jenner launched her own cosmetics line called Kylie Lip Kits, which was renamed to Kylie Cosmetics the following year. They also released a mobile app that reached number one on the iTunes App Store called Kendall and Kylie. In 2014 and 2015, Time Magazine listed the Kylie Jenner sisters on their list of the most influential teens in the world, citing their considerable influence among youth on social media. In 2017, Kylie Jenner was placed on the Forbes Celebrity 100 list, making her the youngest person to be featured on the list. Kylie Jenner starred on her own spin-off series, Life of Kylie, which premiered on E! on August 6, 2017. In November 2018, New York Post credited her for being the most influential celebrity in the fashion industry. In 2019, Forbes estimated Kylie Jenner's net worth at $1 billion and called her the world's youngest self-made billionaire at age 21. The notion of Kylie Jenner being self-made has been controversial. In May 2020, Forbes released a statement accusing Kylie Jenner of forging tax documents documents so she would appear as a billionaire. Let's explore the life of Kylie in Kylie Jenner documentary, History, Life and Career. Kylie Kristen Jenner was born on August 10, 1997, in Los Angeles, California. The youngest daughter of former Olympic decathlete champion Caitlin Kylie Jenner and television personality and businesswoman Chris Kylie Jenner. Kylie Jenner has an older sister, Kendall, and eight older half siblings. From Caitlin's side of the family, she has three older half brothers, Bert, Brandon, and Brody Kylie Jenner, and one older half sister, Cassandra Marino. From Chris's side of the family, Kylie Jenner has three older half sisters, Courtney, Kim, Chloe and one older half-brother Rob Kardashian. Kylie Jenner attended Sierra Canyon School, where she was also a member of the cheerleading team. Kylie Jenner claims to have performed in plays while attending school, along with community plays. In 2012, she became homeschooled and enrolled in an at-home education program, from which she graduated with a high school diploma in July 2015 from Laurel Springs School in Ajay, California. In August 2014, Tyga was seen getting close with Kylie Jenner at her 17th birthday party. Days later, Tyga ended his relationship with Black China, his fiancée and the mother of his son. In 2015, when she turned 18, Kylie Jenner and Tyga made their relationship official. Kylie Jenner subsequently made appearances in two of Tyga's music videos, Stimulated and Doped Up. In April 2017, Kylie Jenner and Tyga broke up. In April 2017, Kylie Jenner was first seen with Travis Scott at Coachella. On February on 1, 2018, Kylie Jenner gave birth to their daughter, Stormy Webster. Kylie Jenner appeared in the music video for Stop Trying to Be God from Scott's third studio album Astroworld. They broke up in September 2019, but quarantined together during the COVID-19 pandemic for the sake of their daughter and ended up rekindling their relationship. On September 7, 2021, after weeks of speculation, Kylie Jenner revealed that she and Scott were expecting their second child. Kylie Jenner gave birth to their son, Wolf Webster, on February February 2, 2022. In 2012, Kylie Jenner and Jordan Woods met through their mutual friend, Jaden Smith, son of Hollywood actor Will Smith and actress Jada Pinkett Smith. They were close friends for many years, with Woods appearing in Kylie Jenner's 2017 reality TV show, Life of Kylie, and Kylie Jenner's 2018 pregnancy video. In September 2018, Kylie Cosmetics launched the Kylie X Jordan Collection, a collaboration between the two friends. Their friendship ended in 2019 as a result of Woods cheating with Tristan Thompson, who was the fiancé of Kylie Jenner. Jenner's half-sister Khloe Kardashian. Kylie Jenner discontinued her Woods-named lip kit, cutting the price to eliminate remaining inventory.
on June 28, 2017, the Jenner sisters announced that they would be releasing a line of vintage t-shirts for their Kendall plus Kylie line of clothing called Rock vs. Rap, featuring the likenesses of various rock and rap artists including the notorious Big, Tupac Shakur, Metallica, Pink Floyd, The Doors, Ozzy Osbourne, and Led Zeppelin, with pictures of the Kylie Jenner sisters superimposed over them. The announcement of this line of products was met with swift backlash from relatives and representatives of the figures depicted on the shirts themselves, including Sharon Osbourne, Jim Jampaul, and Valletta Wallace, mother of Biggie Smalls. They were also criticized on social media and were called insensitive. Wallace, the Doors manager and the estate of Jim Morrison issued a cease and desist letter to the Kylie Jenner sisters, writing that they did not authorize the sisters' use of the likenesses of these musical icons. The Jenners apologized for the shirts and pulled them from retail. Kylie Jenner appeared on the cover of the August 2018 issue of Forbes. The magazine claimed she had a net worth of $900 million and that she was on the verge of becoming the youngest self-made billionaire. This would beat Mark Zuckerberg, who became a billionaire at age 23. However, the publication's use of the term self-made sparked widespread criticism and jokes online. Critics argued that Kylie Jenner was already born into fame and fortune. Some discussions took a more serious tone, with journalists writing pieces on wealth distribution, inequality, and inheritance, as well as upward mobility in society. However, celebrities such as Kylie Jenner's half-sister Kim Kardashian and socialite Paris Hilton have come out and defended Kylie Jenner, legitimizing assertions that she is indeed self-made, while Hilton also described herself as self-made. In May 2020, Forbes released a statement accusing Kylie Jenner of forging tax documents so she would appear as a billionaire. The publication also accused her of fabricating revenue figures for Kylie Cosmetics. The same day, Kylie Jenner Jenner responded in a series of tweets, writing, What am I even waking up to? I thought this was a reputable site. All I see are a number of inaccurate statements and unproven assumptions. I've never asked for any title or tried to lie my way there ever. Kylie Jenner's attorney also demanded that Forbes retract the statements, calling the magazine's accusations unequivocally false. Forbes reacted, stating that they spent months uncovering the facts and concluded that their extensively reported investigation was triggered by newly filed documents that revealed glaring discrepancies between information privately supplied to journalists and information publicly supplied to shareholders. However, Kylie Jenner became the youngest person on Forbes's list of 100 richest self-made women in October 2020. She is the only person on the list in her 20s and is worth $700 million. Kylie Jenner has been accused of appropriating African-American culture and style. In 2016, Kylie Jenner was criticized for posting a photograph of herself wearing cornrows on Instagram. In June 2017, Urban Streetwear brand and Plug It NYC accused Kylie Jenner of stealing their designs for her collection of camouflage swimwear. Remake. A non-profit labeled Global Brands Group as the manufacturer for the Kendall Plus Kylie clothing line. The organization claimed that money was being withheld from workers in the factories despite having finished their work. The organization also reported them firing workers in Los Angeles, affecting over 50,000 works. She received criticism for this on multiple platforms, with fans asking her to pay her workers. In response to this, the clothing line said that Kendall plus Kylie was not owned by Global Brands Group. Kylie Jenner has two nail lacquers from the Nicole by Opie nail polish brand called Wear Something Spar Kylie and Rainbow in the S Kylie. Kylie Jenner and her sister Kendall earned $100,000 each for their Opie endorsements in 2013. On November 15, 2013, the Kylie Jenner sisters announced that they would launch the Kendall and Kylie collection with Pac Sun, which launched in February 2013. Since its conception, the sisters have released several collections for this line. In July 2013, the Jenner sisters launched a jewelry line with Pac Pascal Mawad's Glam House to create the Metal Haven by Kendall and Kylie Jewelry Collection. In February 2014, she and Kendall launched a shoe and handbag line for Steve Madden's Madden Girl line. Kylie Jenner launched a line of hair extensions through a partnership with Balami Hair, called Kylie Hair Coucher, in October 2014. She became skincare brand Nip Plus Fab's second ever ambassador in March 2015. In June 2015, the Jenner sisters launched their clothing line Kendall Plus Kylie with British fashion retailer Topshop. This Topshop clothing line also featured swimsuits. In September 2015, the Jenner sisters 
launched their personalized website and mobile app, called Kendall and Kylie. Kylie Jenner partnered with nail polish brand Sinful Colors and launched a 20 pieces nail polish collection in 2016. In fall the same year, Kylie Jenner was announced to be the new face of Puma along with Ray S. Remmerd. In 2017, Kylie Jenner became the face of Beats Headphones Special Edition collection in collaboration between Apple and Balmain. Kylie Jenner collaborated with Melbourne-based sunglasses brand Key Australia to release a line of sunglasses, Key X Kylie. This collaboration was launched in June 2017. She endorsed Calvin Klein along with her sisters in 2018. In the same year, she signed a deal with Adidas to become their ambassador. Kylie Jenner also had endorsed Hair Vitamin Sugar Bear Hair, Waist Gang Society Waist Trainer, Monthly Beauty Subscription Service Boxacharm, Detox T Fit T, and Fashion Nova. In 2018, Kylie Jenner reportedly made $1 million per sponsored Instagram post, making her the highest paid individuals on Instagram in 2018. The next year, Kylie Jenner reportedly made $1.2 million per sponsored Instagram post, leaving her as the highest paid individual on Instagram for the second year in a row. In January 2017, makeup artist Vlada Haggerty claimed that Kylie Jenner had stolen the creative style and aesthetic of her own work, such as the dripping gloss lip and golden fingertips, for her own products, and that Kylie Jenner had a history of taking Haggerty's original dripping lip art and passing it off as her own. Kylie Jenner later credited Vlada on social media and her work on the creation of the logo and an undisclosed settlement was paid to avoid any future legal issues. In February 2017, Australian singer Kylie Minogue won a legal battle against Kylie Jenner for the name trademark Kylie. Jenner had filed a U.S. trademark application for use of the name Kylie for advertising services and endorsement services in 2015. Sarah Pope, a British painter whose work has been featured in art galleries in several cities across the globe, filed a lawsuit against Kylie Jenner and NBC Universal for the use of a neon lip logo. Pope stated that Kylie Jenner posted to her social media accounts an image that was remarkably similar to Pope's most famous piece, Temptation Neon, and used it to promote Jenner's TV series Life of Kylie. TMZ reported that the production art created for the series, including the lip design, was created by a third-party designer. Seed Beauty filed a lawsuit against Cody and Kylie Cosmetics, alleging that Cody has purchased $600 million in Kylie cosmetic stock from Kylie Jenner as a subterfuge to learn trade secrets. In 2007, Kylie Jenner, along with her parents and siblings, Kendall, Whitney, Kim, Chloe, and Rob, began appearing in the reality television series Keeping Up with the Kardashians, which chronicles the personal and professional lives of their family members. The series was successful for its networky, and has resulted in the creation of numerous spin-offs including Whitney and Kim Take Miami, Chloe and Lamar, Whitney and Kim Take New York, and Whitney and Chloe Take the Hamptons, in which Kylie Jenner has made multiple guest appearances. The sisters hosted Glee, the 3D concert movie at the Regency Village Theater in Westwood, Los Angeles in August 2011. In 2011, they were featured in 17 magazine Style Stars of the Year and selected them as style ambassadors for the magazine. The two hosted the premiere of The Vow in Hollywood in February 2012. The Jenners also interviewed the cast of The Hunger Games premiere at the Nokia Theater in Los Angeles in March 2012. Later in 2012, she starred alongside her sister Kendall and mother Chris Kylie Jenner in an episode of American reality television series America's Next Top Model. The Jenner sisters co-hosted the 2014 Much Music Video Awards, where Kylie made her acting debut in a promo for the show in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, in June 2014. In August 2014, the Jenner sisters appeared in Singer Party Next Door's Recognize Music Video. She also appeared in Jaden Smith's music video for his song Blue Ocean. Kylie Jenner and her sister Kendall co-authored the dystopian science fiction novel Rebels, City of Indra, the story of Lex and Livia, which revolved around two twin girls, Lex and Livia, in a self-sustaining biosphere put together from the remains of Earth known as Indra. The novel was criticized upon release as a ghost-written work, which prompted its ghostwriter Maya Sloan to reveal that while the Kylie Jenner sisters wrote a two-page outline for what they wanted the novel to be like, Sloan was truly responsible for the writing of the book. 
However, the Jenner's creative director, Elizabeth Kilman Roman, clarified that the two had numerous Skype and FaceTime calls with Sloan to discuss the content of the novel. The novel was mostly panned by critics and sold only 13,000 copies in its first four months on sale. The book was also given a sequel, Time of the Twins, which was also co-authored by the Jenner sisters. The Jenner sisters were booed while introducing brother-in-law Kanye West's performance at the Billboard Music Awards in May 2015. In May 2015, an episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians premiered in which Kylie Jenner admitted to getting a lip augmentation. Her enhanced lips from lip fillers created speculation and gained her publicity. Prior to the episode's debut, Kylie Jenner stated that she merely used lip liner and overlined her lips. As a result, the practice of suctioning one's lips into a small glass in order to induce greater blood flow to swell the lips was called the Kylie Jenner Challenge, though there was no indication that Kylie Jenner herself employed this method. Kylie Jenner responded to this by stating, I'm not here to try and encourage people, young girls to look like me or to think this is the way they should look. In August 2015, Kylie Jenner announced that she would be launching her first lipstick line as a part of her self-titled Lip Kit under the name Kylie Lip Kit. In November 2015, the Kylie Jenner sisters appeared in singer Justine Skye, I'm Yours music video. In February 2016, Kylie Jenner's cosmetic company was renamed to Kylie Cosmetics and the number of kits produced rose from an initial 15,000 to 500,000. Kylie Jenner released a three-minute long promotional video for a series of lip glosses in March 2016, directed by Colin Tilly and starring fellow models Karin Jinsui, Mara Tajan, and Jasmine Sanders. The song in the video was revealed to be Three Strike by Terror JR, a band created on the same day as the release of the video. However, the lead singer, who was later revealed to be singer Lisa Vadale, was heavily speculated to be Kylie Jenner herself. However, Kylie Jenner subsequently denied any involvement with the band. In May 2016, she made her musical debut rapping on producer Burberry Perry's song Beautiful Day with Lil Yachty, Jordan Woods, and Justine Skye. The next month, Kylie Jenner starred in another party next door's music video for his song Come and See Me. Then, she made a surprise appearance at the Rio Americano High School prom in Sacramento alongside junior Albert Ochoa after hearing that his date had turned him down. In June 2017, Kylie Jenner was placed at number 59 on the Forbes Celebrity 100, which calculates the 100 highest paid celebrities of the previous 12 months. After earning approximately US $41 million making her the youngest person on the list at 19 years old, Kylie Jenner started in a reality show revolving around her life titled as Life of Kylie, which premiered in August 2017. On Mother's Day 2018, Kylie Cosmetics launched makeup line called Chris Cosmetics, in collaboration with her mother Chris Kylie Jenner. Kylie Jenner and her half-sister Kim Kardashian launched their second collaboration KKWX Kylie Cosmetics collection on Black Friday 2018 after previously launched the first collection in 2017. The same month, she launched Kylie Cosmetics mobile app. In April 2019, Kylie Jenner and her half-sister Kim Kardashian's KKW Beauty teamed up to launch a new fragrance. This collaboration became Kylie Jenner's first foray into fragrance and it launched on April 26. Kylie Jenner founded her own skincare brand Kylie Skin which was launched on May 22. The brand began producing Dermy's products, including face washes, scrubs, moisturizers and makeup removing wipes. Kylie Cosmetics launched their collaboration with her half-sister Khloe Kardashian called Kylie Cosmetics X Coco Collection. This this marked their third collaboration after previously launching a special collection of lip products called Coco Collection in 2016 and the second part in 2017. In September, Kylie Jenner announced that she was serving as the makeup artistic director for Balmain's spring 2020 runway show at Paris Fashion Week. To celebrate the new line, Kylie Cosmetics and Balmain launched a capsule makeup collection available on September 27, the day of the show, on the Kylie Cosmetics website. This was the first time Kylie Jenner collaborated on a makeup collection with someone outside of her family's inner circle. However, her appearance at Paris Fashion Week was cancelled because she was too ill to travel to Paris for work. News surfaced she received treatment for flu-like symptoms at a hospital, which later in March 2020 she revealed in response to a post by Instagram fan account she never had it but had a horrible strep and staph infection in the throat. In October 2019, Kylie Jenner filed to trademark the phrase Rise and Shine, a line that became a meme when footage of Kylie Jenner singing the phrase to her daughter, Stormy, went viral. The hashtag Rise and Shine reached 1 billion views on TikTok, making it the platform's fastest-growing hashtag trend. In addition to the standard Rise and Shine, Kylie Jenner also filed to trademark Rise and Shine. The latter trademark would cover clothing while the former would also apply to cosmetics. The next month, 
Kylie Jenner sold a 51% stake in Kylie Cosmetics to Cody, which owns other beauty brands including CoverGirl, Opie, Rimmel, GHD, and Clairol for $600 million. In January 2020, Kylie Jenner announced she had trademarked Kylie Khan, Kylie Khan starting with K, and Kylie Museum. In the same month, her sister Kendall confirmed that a cosmetics line in collaboration with Kylie Jenner's Kylie Cosmetics was in the process. Kylie Cosmetics launched Kylie Cosmetics X Kendall Jenner on June 26, 2020. Still in the same month, Kylie Jenner announced that Kylie Cosmetics will launch a Valentine's Day collection named after Kylie Jenner's daughter, Stormy. The Stormy collection was launched on February 1st, the same day as her daughter's birthday. Kylie Jenner made a cameo appearance in singers Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber's Stuck With You music video in May 2020. The following month, the Jenner sisters addressed reports that their fashion brand Kendall Plus Kylie has failed to pay factory workers in Bangladesh as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. It was reported that Global Brands Group previously listed the Kendall Plus Kylie brand on its website. As a result, the Jenner stated that their company is owned by a separate entity known as 3072541 Canada Inc even though they say that their brand has worked with CAAGBG in the past, in a sales and business development capacity only and that they do not currently have any relationship at all with GBG. In August 2020, Kylie Cosmetics launched Summer Sailor Collection which marked the launch of Kylie Jenner's first ever false lashes. In the same month, she made a cameo in Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion's WAP music video, alongside singers Normani and Rosalia. A petition asking that Kylie Jenner's cameo be edited out of the video reached over 65,000 signatures. Kylie Jenner topped the Forbes list of highest paid celebrities for 2020. In August 2021, Kylie Jenner teased Kylie Swim, a new swimwear line that includes sizes for all women. On September 17th, it was officially launched on Kylie Jenner's website. On September 21st, she announced a new skincare and hair product line for babies, called Kylie Baby. In January 2022, Kylie Jenner became the first woman to gain 300 million followers on the social network service Instagram, surpassing the previous record holder, singer Ariana Grande. Kylie Jenner set up an eBay account where she auctions old clothing to raise money for the Children's Hospital Los Angeles. She joined her sisters Chloe and Kendall, along with Lil Twist, and the game at Pence Bowling Alley in Studio City, California for a charity bowling game on January 19, 2014. The event was held to raise money for the Robin Hood Foundation, a nonprofit for which the game pledged to raise $1 million in donations. The Jenner sisters participated in singer Chris Brown's Two Kickin' It for Charity Celebrity Kickball Games in Glendale, California on July 19, 2014 and on August 16, 2014. At the first game, she competed on actor, singer Quincy Brown's team. In December 2015, Kylie Jenner made a donation of Christmas gifts to the Los Angeles LGBT Teen Center. In January 2017, Kylie Jenner donated $10,000 to her then-friend Jordan Woods to help cover memorial costs for Woods's father after he died from cancer. On her birthday in the same year, Kylie Jenner announced on her Instagram she donated $500,000 from sales of her birthday collection to Teen Cancer America, an organization to help hospital and outpatient facilities develop special units for teens with cancer. Kylie Jenner is an ambassador for Smile Train, a charity that funds surgery for children with cleft lips and palates. She became one of the organization's youngest ambassadors. Kylie Jenner visited Peru with Smile Train on an episode of Life of Kylie. In 2016, Kylie Jenner launched a special edition lip kit called Smile and donated $159,500 to Smile Train to fund cleft lip and palate surgeries for 638 deserving children. In September 2019, during her appearance on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, Kylie Jenner donated $750,000 to the founder and members of a feminist organization in Florida called Nest of Love, which is dedicated to mentoring young women, helping low-income kids in the community, and promoting female empowerment. In January 2020, Kylie Jenner gave a total of $1 million to five organizations in Australia to help tackle the Bush fires. In March 2020, Kylie Jenner, her mother Chris, along with beauty company Cody donated over 6,000 pounds of hand sanitizers to Southern California hospitals to help health care workers fighting the COVID-19 pandemic. Kylie Jenner also donated $1 million to buy face masks, face shields, and other protective gear for health care professionals who work on the front lines. 
Thank you for watching Kylie Jenner documentary, history, life and career. If you like this documentary, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day. I love you.